Oh, I'm starting my uni lectures tomorrow already. How to prepare, yeah? I think I better check my YouTube to see how. Wow, why got so many videos? One. What the hell is this one hour long video? Wow, Sien, I wish there was a video showing how a freshman actually prepares for university. Hello everyone, welcome to the Nasty Dynasty where we all learn about life changing habits, skill sets, and mindsets to help us to become more nasty. My name is Susan and I'm a year one engineering student in the National University of Singapore. But yes, basically I'll be entering university like tomorrow. Actually, I also had no idea where exactly to start planning or do anything. So I'm actually on the same page as you guys. I mean, there's only so much that you can prepare because university is like basically taking a step into the unknown. But I guess in this video, I'll be sharing with all of you how I, as a freshman, prepare for my first semester in university. I made sure that before I start the semester, I know about the different graduation requirements which I feel can be split into two parts. The first part is basically knowing how much modular credits you need to graduate with your degree or your specialization or double major or whatever. For you guys that don't know what modular credits are, in Unilingo, they call it MCs. Basically, each module will provide a certain number of credits depending on a lot of different factors including their difficulty etc. Your degree, specialization, minor or major will actually require you to take a certain number of MCs in different aspects which brings me to my next point which is to actually plan your modules. You must be thinking right, don't even know jack shit, plan what plan. Bro, I tell you right, at this point, I was so jaded because the university website has so much information, I don't even know where to get what. The only thing I could do was to basically just find the entire list of modules that I require in order to graduate with whatever certifications that I want and basically classify them into different categories into an Excel sheet. By the way, right, I'm not so up, so I'm just going to create this entire Excel sheet by myself. So if you all want the original template, I will link it in the description below. Okay, so moving on, right. After I control C, control V, my entire list of modules, right, somehow, I managed to understand my curriculum a lot better. Like, why the hell do I need to take mods from School of Design and Environment? If you go to your course website, you will find that there is a recommended semester schedule which basically shows what are the different modules that are recommended for you to take for each semester across your entire 3 to 4 years. So at this point, I was like, okay, sure, just Ctrl C, Ctrl V again and everything will be fine. But psych! Because there are actually modules that I still need to go and choose by myself and clear in order to graduate. So at the start, I didn't really want to take a double major or a minor or anything. But after I realized that I have 40 MCs to clear, I was like, Hold up! Wait a minute! Something right! So afterwards, right, I went to search on the different majors and minors that I might be interested in. Then I went to plan my remaining MCs according to the requirements. Obviously, this isn't the same for everyone because some people might want to go and learn a new language during this entire four years. Maybe they want to go and learn about some new things that they cannot really learn outside. Or maybe they just want to take up some easier modules to go and pull up their GPA. So it really depends on your own individual priorities. For NUS students, right, y'all can actually go over to nusmods.com to look at the different modules provided and even keep track of your semester timetable and even plan for your next semester's timetable. Personally, I feel that module planning is actually the most important because it actually gives you a bird's eye view of all the shit that you're going to be going through for the next three to four years. Also, if you cannot bid for the modules that you wanted to bid for, you can come up with contingencies very easily because you are very aware of all the different modules that you want to take across the next 3 to 4 years. <laughs> yeah, but talk so much, bid, 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 cannot get also useless. So I found out a bit about how the education system in university will be like for my seniors as well as some YouTubers like Daniel Tamago. Honestly, there is too much information so I only remember like what, two things? The first is that university has a lot of assignments, quizzes and examinations and you really can't afford to miss any of them because they all contribute to your cumulative GPA. Imagine you could have gotten an A for this particular mod but then you go and oversleep for one examination and because of that you get a B+. Plus. Oh apparently according to my seniors, it's quite normal for you to oversleep for a quiz or exam. Or maybe my seniors just tra- so it's actually recommended for you to have some sort of system implemented to help you to track down your assignment and report deadlines as well as your quiz and exam dates. Something that I learned about recently that can actually do all of this is this app or website called Notion. With Notion, right, I'm actually able to view all my different assignment deadlines and exam dates at one go. I can also set a filter such that I'm able to view all the different dates according to each module or just the exams and assignments alone. I also went to go and find more information about each individual module that I'll be taking during my first semester and actually updated them on Notion. While I was messing around with the template and doing my own planning, I actually learned a bit more about my different modules. So Notion is actually quite a useful app or website to help organize your life, so you guys might want to look into it. Don't say no, brother. If you all want a small tutorial on how to use Notion, just let me know in the 
comments below. In addition to being organized and having some sort of system to track down your different deadlines, the second thing that I learned was actually regarding note taking. Basically, because of the pandemic, we are all in Zoom University, so everything is basically online. In our previous like tertiary institutes, right, they taught us to go and do everything physically, including our note taking and all our lecture notes and everything. But because of the fact that everything is online, it's much easier for us to shift our entire note taking process online as well. So because of all the things that my seniors as well as the YouTubers said, I actually got cycled to go and join the mainstream boys and I actually got an iPad Air for my university. I didn't buy an iPad Pro because I felt that an iPad Air is sufficient for note taking and I don't really need like such good specs for note taking but if your father got money, just go buy. Right now, as of this video's release, there is an Apple student's discount. So I actually bought the iPad, the Apple Pencil and it came with like free AirPods and total it was about $900. So I think it's quite worth. I, I hope. So apparently an uh, iPad Air is not enough, so I had to go and download this app called Notability which allows me to annotate on my notes and PowerPoint slides that I can go and find online and also allow me to go and organize them into different folders. There's actually another app called Good Notes, but both of them need money so you need to go and do your proper research to make sure that you're spending money on the correct things. I mean you already spent $900 on this and if you don't actually have a proper app that allows you to make use of this, a bit wasted ah. Uh. <laughs> if not, I think I'm done with the technical stuff. I actually took quite a bit of time to learn how to use Notion as well as Notability but Maybe it's because I'm just a boomer But I feel maybe if you want to go and try and start using Notion or Notability Maybe you can start today <laughs> If not, I'll talk about the last part, which is the most fun part about university, CCAs. There is no way that you can study all day every day. You know, freshies, we need to get the taste of the uni life. So at the start, I actually wanted to only join NUS powerlifting and climbing. But after I talked to a senior on NUS chatbot, he mentioned about NUS Investment Society and NUS Entrepreneurship Society. And after he explained to me about what they do, I was damn interested and I'm actually planning to join them as well. Basically, more of the story is that university is damn huge and there is no way that you are aware of every single CCA or interest group around. So make sure to explore and keep your options open in case you find something that you're interested in. Personally, I actually followed the different CCA's Instagram account so that I can keep track of the registration process and stuff like that. For NUS students, right, there is actually a student life fair that is taking place from 11th to 13th of August. So you guys can find out about the different sports, clubs and activities from there. You never know, maybe after you learn more, we might end up in the same CCA. <laughs> if not, I finished sharing about how I, as a freshman, prepare for my first semester in university. There is really too much information on the internet telling us how we should prepare without knowing that we don't even know what to prepare about. And I guess there is only so much that we can prepare as freshmen because 4 years is a very long time and we never know what we might come across in the future. In university, everything is basically self-directed and you won't even know about anything if you don't don't try to know about it or if you don't hear about it from somewhere else. One way of actually coming across opportunities like this is to regularly check your email and you can check out how to use Microsoft Outlook from my Outlook tutorial over here. Do let me know in the comments if this video helped you to prepare for university and share with your friends who you think haven't prepared for jack shit. If not, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Always remember, stay nasty.